Sir, we have an emergency. A cave in southern France has uncovered the earliest recorded prehistoric art of dinosaurs. Oh, pipe down, Hig. I'm trying to remember where I left my cowboy at. Sir, this is serious. The dinos, they're wearing top hats and monocles. Remind you of a certain prehistoric nautical association? Oh, lordy, lord, lord. Good afternoon, Mr. President. I trust you had a pleasant journey. Haig here let loose like a Girl Scout at a rock and roll concert. I told you I had to go to the bathroom. Let's get down to business, shall we? Oh, uh, you didn't happen to find a cave painting in Southern France, did you? Looks like you have some splaining to do. I suppose we should start from the beginning. That's about 65 million years ago. It was a land of elegance, a land of etiquette, a land before a land before time. But sadly, it was not meant to last. Those of us who saw the comet coming sought safety, but the best shelter was monopolized by our old nemesis. Piggy Moon Hogarton! <clears throat> he would allow other dinosaurs the use of his cave in exchange for gold, but his greed got the best of him. He went over capacity, and because of the overcrowding, they couldn't close the doors. There were no survivors. Except for us and Piggy Von Hogerton, because we're all still here, 1988! That's wonderful deductive reasoning, Willoughby. Really, really bang up job there. Thank you, Charles. I'm being sarcastic, Willoughby. Please shut it. As for Von Hogerton, he hid under the thing he loved most. His gold. It melted over him and turned him into the primordial monster he is today. But how did you survive? We were inside Von Hoggerton's cave, but we had to leave because of Willoughby. I had to go to the bathroom! When we got back, the cave was already full, so we took refuge in a cave in southern France. Sometime later, we were spotted. And the rest is, as you say, classified. And the radiation made us the classy gents we are today. <laughs> but why doesn't the Countess talk like you? And how did you become English gentlemen when England wasn't established until hundreds of millions of years later? I'm sorry, Secretary Haig. What were you saying about my lovely, enchanting, sophisticated Countess Erica? Mute button, Haig. That's enough explaining for one day. I'll have to come up with some sort of cover-up for all that nonsense in southern France. Happy to help, Mr. President. And the next time Mr. Haig here has to go to the bathroom, just remember, it may save your life. We're all out of toilet paper! Hope you guys got some of your questions answered about how the Dining Out Club came about. That's, that's as good as a history book. I don't I'll know. I mean, I can tell you right now that the reason why Countess Erica doesn't talk is because... So remember, if you're going to comment, please put I do say before you comment because otherwise it's not a real comment. And if you don't like it, then you should put preposterous. Yeah. The exclamation point. So stay tuned. Next week, Charles, like, goes rock bottom. We find out that he has some deep, deep psychological pain and about... About his tiny arms. He has very small arms. He has very small arms, so we're going to kind of delve into that. So stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Hope you enjoy it.